how to file for divorce in California? Let me help. My name is David Pizarra. I'm a divorce and child custody lawyer in California. There are four main steps to getting a divorce in California, but there's a lot of forms in each one of those steps. We even have forms to talk about forms. This particular form says the three main steps and then the final completion step that's required to get a divorce. What I want to cover today are the four main forms that are used, starting with the family law cover sheet used in Los Angeles County. The family law case cover sheet tells the court which division is going to be assigned this case and what type of case it's going to be, whether it's a divorce, whether it's an annulment, whether it's a legal separation. The highlighted portions that you're seeing here are all the various pieces of information that must be filled out so that the court can determine what has to happen with this case. These are the choices that you as a pro per will be making. This is a summons. A summons is nothing more than an order from the court to somebody that they must appear in court or at least file a response in a court case, otherwise they'll lose their rights. The important thing for you to recognize is that on the back of this, there are standard family law restraining orders which will apply to you as soon as a case is filed, and they will apply to the respondent as soon as the respondent is served with a copy of this document. The petition for divorce looks like this. It's got a dissolution of marriage, the separation, or nullity. It also lists the statistical information, date of marriage, date of separation, whether or not there are children, who's claiming what for separate property, and what you're claiming is community property. Additionally, the grounds for dissolution are noted on the petition, as well as what you're requesting, legal custody of the children, spousal support, additional property, termination of the other party's right to spousal support, and restoration of someone's name. If you have a child with somebody in a marriage, that child's last residence and last residence for the previous five years must be listed so the court knows where that child has been residing and who's going to have jurisdiction over that child. That form is done with a declaration under Child Custody Jurisdiction and Enforcement Act. Page 2 also lists if there are other cases that have been opened that would involve this child, such as a Department of Child and Family Services case or a domestic violence restraining case also, if there are other people that need to know about this case. As you can see, there are many forms involved in getting a divorce, and this is frankly just the start. There's a ton more documents that have to be gone over. Why am I telling you all this? Because I answer questions like this all day long. Please feel free to call me at 310-664-9969 or check me out on the web at mensfamilylaw.com.